Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Um, uh, thank you for joining us. And, uh, if you have not uh, subscribed, please do so and uh, do share the videos that uh, we have uh, shared uh, on this channel so that other people can benefit from it. Uh, today we are going to cook um, chickpea curry and uh, we are going to serve it with couscous, herbed couscous. And uh, the ingredients that we require for um, the chickpea curry is, of course, the chickpeas. We need onions, finely diced or chopped, tomatoes, and I have uh, ginger and turmeric paste, uh, garlic and uh, tomato puree. Uh, I'll use uh, coconut oil. Yeah, I'll be using cumin, coriander powder, black pepper, salt, a bit of chili. And yeah, that is it. I will not use uh, turmeric powder because I already have turmeric uh, ginger paste. And for the couscous, I need um, two cups of uh, couscous. And in this case, this is uh, whole grain couscous. Um, some water. And I will use um, olive oil. And... Uh, chopped uh, coriander leaves to make it herby and tasty. Um, so let's begin. Always put on your pan on the heat uh, before you add the oil. pan should be a little bit warm. It's about two tablespoons of uh, coconut oil, add in the onions, and sweat the onions um, and for the onions to sweat faster, you to add a tiny bit of salt, so you hasten the, the speed of uh, sweating the onions. Because we want to attain almost a golden, uh, golden uh, color with the onion, onions, I'll skip curry so it doesn't stick to the, uh, the pan. So once the onion has uh, wilted a bit, you can add uh, ginger turmeric paste. That's about a tablespoon. Then I'll crush in the garlic. And you can just, uh, you know, finely chop uh, the garlic. And you notice I didn't put the garlic with the onions at the same time because uh, when, if you do that, the garlic actually would make the, your mixture stick on the, on the pan. So you add it a little bit later after you cook the onions for about two, uh, three to four minutes. And you continue cooking like that. And then um, you introduce now you so um, add more salt, another half a teaspoon of salt, and add uh, a teaspoon of coriander powder, 
a few teaspoons of coriander powder, a teaspoon of cumin powder, uh, half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. The onions are attaining that color I was looking for. That's uh, golden brown. So once your spices have cooked for about two minutes, keep stirring it so it doesn't burn, doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And the tomatoes. And you want to cook the tomatoes until it's uh, almost like it has all cooked through, so it's uh, gone mushy. So I'll allow the tomatoes to cook. I'll cover it and uh, simmer it for about five minutes. Okay, so um, you see the tomatoes now cooked through. Yeah. It's all mushy and looking nice. Then I think it's time to add uh, the chickpeas. And I have about three cups of chickpeas. Boiled chickpeas. Uh, you can use uh, tin chickpeas also. Um, you really don't have the time to um, cook the chickpeas. You know, boil it because it takes long to to Just turn it in properly. See the color is really becoming. Oh, beautiful. Uh, cover it. Um, can cover it and simmer it for few minutes. So it uh, the flavors infuses in uh, to the chickpeas and uh, all the flavors are mixed for. So you cook it for about five minutes and then can add um, the tomato paste and if you love the, your curry to have a lot of sauce you can if you have a, a vegetable stock you can add a bit of vegetable stock otherwise if you do not you can just add a bit of water and you shall see when we do that Okay, this has been cooking for about five minutes and if you don't like you know to see uh, bits and pieces of the tomato you can actually puree your tomato uh, tomatoes uh, some people do not like you know the skin of the tomato if you puree it then it will uh, disappear so but me I still like to have Chunky uh, bits of tomato, it looks nice. And then, uh, once it gets to that stage, we cooking it now for five minutes almost. And then, adding tomato first. We'll give it uh, the tomato paste, will give it uh, that richness of the sauce. The sauce will be thick. Uh, your curry also becomes colorful and yeah um, it's richer also you know tomatoes is very rich in like cooking so uh, really good for us so, um, 
that's one of the things we're looking for in tomatoes or um, melons. Uh, it helps us to uh, prevent cancer. It's like a pea, it's quite powerful. Um, this stage I'll add a bit of chili. Put a teaspoon of chili. routine and uh, simmer it for all the flavors to come together. So I'm going to lower the heat okay. and cover it. And at this stage, I want to put this aside as we uh, cook the couscous. Uh, for the couscous, um, the measurements for couscous is um, uh, one cup of couscous to one and, a, one and a quarter, depending on the type you have of couscous, to one and a half cups of uh, water. Um, yeah, so you bring it to boil and then you season it. Season it with salt. We add olive oil. Two tablespoons. And then, because it's been boiling, you can see that the water is boiling. I just add uh, the couscous. And then I simmer it. And it is important at this stage that you really lower the heat to the lowest you can. Uh, sometimes you don't even want, if, if the water is boiling, you don't need to boil it. You can just put it aside and cover. So long as you cover it, it will cook through. So, for mine, I will turn off the heat and leave it to cook in that hot water. It will suck in all the hot water and uh, once it's cooked and ready uh, we shall uh, add uh, the spice and for today we are using uh, coriander, fresh coriander uh, leaves, finely chopped. All the spices you've added to the chickpeas have come together um, the tomato paste is uh, making that thick sauce and giving it uh, the chickpeas that lovely color. Okay, this the couscous has been uh, sitting in hot water now for about 10 minutes, and this is the time to you not know, fluff it with your with a fork because you're looking for a fine grain. You don't want to crush the couscous, so you fluff it with a fluff it with a fork. Don't use a spoon or anything because you don't want to crush the the grains. And you can add the. Just coriander leaves, lift the couscous up. 
children, you can see their brains are well formed. It's not been uh, crushed. So the amount of water was really uh, perfect now. Yeah, it looks nice with the with the coriander leaves. And this has also been cooking and this stew, the soup or the stew is thickening and it's looking very nice. And I think that is actually ready. Uh, chickpea curry is ready. And uh, couscous is ready as well. So if we are ready, we can just uh, um, serve. Okay, our meal is ready. Um, so we uh, continue, go ahead and serve. See the chickpeas, uh, beautiful color. And if you actually soak, if you are boiling your chickpeas and if you soak it like oh, for 12 hours, uh, it will not give you that problem of gas. And it's very rich in um, fiber. So uh, for those people who are complaining with acidity and stuff like that, you know, it, it will be uh, easier to digest because you soaked it. Uh, overnight and you have re removed all the saponins like you know uh, taking off the water and you, when you if you soak the chickpeas keep changing the water to remove the excess saponin and now uh, so the couscous. see it's very grainy and, and nice It's a very simple, uh, easy dinner to cook. Um, vegetarian, of course, and um, anybody can do it. Really, it's not complicated at all. And we have the ingredients. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to encourage you to do is. Uh, to go out and uh, try different types of foods. Uh, let's not uh, continue eating the same, same foods because, you know, uh, we may not get all the nutrients from just one type of food. So it's advisable that you, we keep changing uh, from one bean to the other, from one vegetable to the other, from one uh, staple to the other, so that we get uh, uh, our bodies benefit from uh, the varied uh, nutritional value in these different types of uh, foods. And we are very lucky that we have all uh, this country, especially in Kenya, we, it's very rich. It has rich in food. It has all sorts of um, pulses and beans and grains. So go out and give it a try. And uh, try to cook something uh, or follow the instruction that we have given you today to come up with a, uh, this meal and post it so that we uh, on our uh, Be Healthwise uh, page and share it with us so we can see what you have done. So um, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, thank you for those who have uh, subscribed to this channel. Uh, encourage your friends to um, uh, subscribe as well. And uh, we say uh, we shall meet again very soon to give you another different type of uh, vegetarian meal. So, goodbye and see you next time.